Good morning, it is the 2nd of January and I have decided that I'm going to try and vlog this year. Um, and I feel really uncomfortable just being here so crusty, just look at these lips, why are they so dry? But um, I felt like I wanted to do something a little bit new this year and just like, you know, enjoy it. And I know obviously I am having a baby in basically three months from now so i want to to see what happens and how i change and all the things that i do and i do want something to kind of look back on so today is it's the freaking weekend second of jan and i tried last night one of my resolutions not really resolutions but i plan i try to plan what i'm gonna do the night before because i'm someone who can be really haphazard so this morning is like a walk a, a meditative walk but firstly i need tea so the morning walk is basically a new thing for me but i'm gonna go out and do it sadly the weather is looking all kinds of drab it's my garden here and so we are out here just having this walk it is cold and blistery <laughs> but the good thing is that literally it's here but it, it, it's not nice like this is really this is why i want to move oh mike's doing my brekkie for me which is quite delicious so one of the annoying things that happens in pregnancy is that you can be fine for one minute and vomiting and slightly weeing yourself the next minute. Just randomly, after I went on the walk, I started to feel a bit sick. And then I'm like, oh, don't worry, you always feel like that. But I'm just like literally throwing up over the toilet, just feeling gross. And obviously I am six-ish, seven, six months gone now, past six months gone. And you usually feel the nausea and the regular sickness earlier on, but not so much now. But I genuinely, probably like once every two weeks or once every three weeks, just I'm fine. And then <clears throat> I randomly just throw up. It's just like out of nowhere. It's like, I feel sick. Run! And I'm not going to lie. You might wee yourself a little bit. These are the things you learn. So I need to have a shower. <laughs> TMI. Mike went ahead and made breakfast. Thank you, babe. Um, looks good. Slightly pasty, but um, hopefully tasty. I had a shower, I'm just gonna put my makeup on. I decided I'm just gonna meet Maureen. Don't look at my foil window there. It's to block the light out when I'm filming. <laughs> that looks so good, I just saw that in the background. And um, I'll show you my outfit. This is basically my uniform. Please don't watch how dusty my mirror is because it is full of makeup dust. But I basically wear skinny jeans and a vest and people always say that my bum looks small and stuff probably because i wear black but also because everybody's bump is a different size the key thing is i have these huge huge boobs i'm actually kind of feeling them as well you know so now i am completely ready lashes just got this little jacket on which is from topshop got a black vest on skinny jeans and then i've got these trainers because basically I like to be comfortable and then I've got my curry bag and that's it basically so super casual and super comfortable so yes you can see my bump a little bit more which I love the way it looks oh yeah I also wear this maternity belt thing it just gives me some added support because I do get quite a lot of um, hip pain this was given to me by my sister-in-law so thank you Tanya for this so yeah, I'm literally starving now. I feel like the only thing I want to do is eat. And whenever I leave, I'm always worried about weeing myself. <laughs> I feel like I've talked about wee quite a lot, um, but wee becomes a real part of your life, you know? So I'm just gonna go to my mum's house to get some food quickly, <laughs> which sounds really craven, but if you know you've got jerk chicken waiting for you, <laughs> you better go get some lunch. <laughs> and why not? I'm gonna go to my mum's house and I'm gonna pick up Maureen we're just gonna go to the shops together. It is just your typical rainy day um, in London. There's something a bit, what's the word? Kind of like comforting about it because I feel like this is just like the normal weather. And if most people know me, I'm not really a big fan of driving. Like it's not my favorite thing in the world to do. However, and Michael basically drives me everywhere. He takes me literally everywhere. But I'm trying to be a little bit more independent this year. I 
love listening to me some Caribbean vibes. I'm going to Barbados, if you guys didn't know. And I just got some Caribbean vibes going on. Do a little bogle. Give me a little. Hey. I got here and, oh, it's really dark. Very dark. Is it just that it's a dark day? Like, it's dark. Got here, no one was here to greet me besides my dad in his Christmas jumper still. <laughs> Maureen's trying to cover her um, nudity. I think she's got a bra on at least. And she's boiled me some rice. I'm gonna have some jerk chicken while she gets ready. If she has good. She made me rice, not you, bum. Yeah, okay, eat, yes, eat. That's fine, I thought right, you would take some. She's so dramatic. <laughs> as soon as she walks into the house, it just gets like 20 times louder. Mama. Why have you got so much bread? No, oh, this bread is so nice. When you eat one, you're going to at least manage three. <laughs> at least ten. When you just take one. Hey! Special bread, you feed your sister nice with nice in it, just everybody. Let me see, what bread is it? Just is it, take is one. it sweet? Just take one, try it one. Came here to get my brown stew jerk chicken and rice. Yeah. It look, tastes better than it looks. It's actually flawless. Thank you, Auntie Sarah. I wanted you to help me pick my bras. Fun times, we can do that. And that's it, you can go. Oh, we got the same necklace on, hey! Twinsy! Hey! Okay, yours is different. Where's yours from? Is that gold? New look. My sister's going off. It's an engagement. She, she Maureen's always doing stuff. Like, who's. It's because you're always working. I always, like I'm work. always doing stuff. And she's always doing stuff. And I feel like I forgot on my phone. Sweet Lord. So I am back from the shops. Um, didn't pick up anything in Ikea besides a picture frame. I'm gonna show that to you later. I'll do a mini haul. Got myself some maternity bras. <laughs> maternity bras. So glamorous, so glamorous. Um, but yeah. And then I picked up this diary from, um, not diary, this, well, it's a notebook from Topshop. Um, and for four quid, yes. And then now I keep all my receipts, seeing as I'm VAT registered. I'm gonna do a series on my actual financial management because being the geek that I am, I love talking about this kind of stuff and it's so imperative. Um, and I've made some rookie financial mistakes, you know, when it comes to like tax, VAT, registration, claiming, all that kind of good stuff. And I really wanna help people who might go on this road to really just prepare themselves. But my battery's low on this, so I'm gonna just sit down and edit and then maybe I'll vlog a little bit later. Morning. It is, um, it is Sunday and it is church day. But um, yeah, I'm super casual today. I've even got a hat on. It is so, rainy out there it's like oh, horrible so actually i shouldn't complain i am blessed that you know i get to see rain some people don't get to see rain do they anyway i'm going to make um dinner dinner lunch right now she never gets old. I'm gonna make like some form of stir fry. Then I'm basically gonna put some, what's this, cabbage and some peas in there a little later on, but I'm gonna let this fry up and I'm gonna put these in last because they take the quickest to cook. Sunday dinner looks good. Michael puts mint sauce on his lamb. I think it tastes disgusting when people do that, but clearly some people like that kind of thing, but he can do that on his own. And then he's got mint sauce, and then he's got, what's this called again, sriracha? Yeah, sriracha hot chili sauce. This is the best sauce in the world ever. He literally like, loves it. Look how smart he looks. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you, stuff, yeah. You're about to just do something a bit, mm. Weird. This stuff is is it's the bomb so basically i have nothing all day i mean me and michael had dinner we watched luther for an hour and then we've basically been chilling out had another cup of tea we're going to go to 
my office, it needs a clear up slash clear out. It's become a little bit of a graveyard for things. Um, so we just thought, you know what, we're not doing anything. Um, why not, you know, go there and just have a little clear out. So I'm at the office now. We put some music on because usually that's what we do. And it's basically looking a little bit like a jumble cell. So it needs to basically be sorted out before work starts. So I have cleared up a bit. This is actually going to be a new little shooting spot for me. Whenever I come to the office, I try to sometimes shoot here. Mike's moving move stuff, but I've basically got the same setup at home as well. And I wanted to show you guys my kind of product collection. And obviously as a YouTuber, we're sent loads of products all the time. And this is basically where I just kind of pick items from, trial them out. And as you can see, I get so many products and this isn't even half of them. I'm very, I'm a very kind of um, anal about it and I always do like clear my collection out and people have much bigger collections than I do but I really prefer having this stuff in the office versus in my home. I feel like we've achieved a lot today so that feels quite nice. Morning guys! Today I am going to the GP for a routine um, maternity appointment, hello bump. Um, and I never see my GP, I really hate going to the doctors if I'd be completely honest with you. Um, I made a little packed lunch and breakfast, I'll show it to you downstairs. Um, I've been up from 7 o'clock, my New Year's resolution is obviously to get up quite early. And it is literally pitch black at 7 and I was just like, why is it so dark? Like no, I was meant to do a walk, but I was just like, <laughs> Ain't nobody seeing me outside when it's dark and all I want to do is sit and live in my dressing gown. But I just did a little workout in the bedroom and then I'm basically just going to go shoot a couple of videos today. I want to do my everyday like go-to makeup. So many people have been asking me about like the full look so I'm going to do it. So this is my lunch which should be cold now. I made my sausages, my broccoli, beetroot tomatoes, spinach, and I go with some blueberries. This is basically my lunch, and sadly, it's really annoying me that I don't have anything in there. I might even put my blueberries in there, just just so that it looks about right. I don't know, is that, is that weird? No, and let me just do it for all my OCD people out there who just think it's just, it's just not right, man. It's just not right. There you go. That makes me feel so much better. So I'm running late as usual. I'm just going to have some oats. These are the really chunky oats. For breakfast, I don't have a lot because I find them really thinning. Some blueberries, I'm gonna try and paint my nails in 15 minutes as well. So I've been to the GP, just took my blood pressure, listened to baby's heartbeat, uh, measured my stomach, nothing much, because I haven't seen the GP. Well, you never, you don't really see your GP a lot. You see your um, midwife more. So I told the GP about my um, fibroids and red degeneration is what I had. And she said it's very common in pregnancy due to the hormones and very common for women who have fibroids. And I didn't even know I had a fibroid um, until I got pregnant because it was negligent. But in pregnancy, a fibroid can grow because of the hormones. But Hopefully afterwards, it's only, it's about five centimeters, which is classified as big because it grew. But um, after I had the baby, it should go back to its miniature size. And people ask me if I'm gonna like slow down and stuff, like after I had the baby. I mean, kinda, but the great thing is that I work for myself. I like to get out every single day. So I would just probably bring the baby along to the office with me. I can't see why not. And obviously if I wanna have a, de a down day, then I will. It's up to me. So I love the flexibility of being able to work for yourself. And um, oopsie. Yeah, to work for yourself. Because it means that you can do what you want for you and your family. So my office, I've got the worst parking space in the world. It's the tightest spot ever, right up by the corner. My car doesn't even fit there, so I'm just gonna not park there and there's basically huge cars everywhere everyone's got like a range rover or something like that they're just ridiculously large cars and then i've got well my car's kind of wide as well but i just can't get in oh and i hate parking no, i need to go forward mate clearly <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm actually to ask people to come and park here for me in the past. I'm in! So look, check out my parking. Well, it looks like there's loads of room. There really isn't loads of room, but yeah, I tried. And then this is actually meant to be my space here, which is just so tight and it's up against the railing. And my other car, I scratched it. So I'm like, I'm not parking there. Bad Felicia. So I'm in the office. I've just filmed a video. I'll show you my like filming area. It gets, it becomes a mess. And imagine if this oh, walking so hard. I've just filmed these glasses. It's gonna be in my next video as well. But this is how I feel right now. These lights are just rubbish, basically. But um, yeah, I'm getting new proper lights in, but I basically did a makeup tutorial and it ends up kind of being a bit crazy like that. And I like this corner. I am just gonna begin editing. I've got some emails, invoices, all that kind of weird stuff to do and um, yeah and I have a discount code for these glasses as well I'll put them in the description bar below or they'll be in my next video because everyone was asking me about these basically live a relatively normal life like working a nine to five but it's just doing what I want to do it's So it's been a long time, you can clearly see I've been sitting at the desk and working till it gets dark. The girls have gone home, Michael's come to help me do some measuring up as well. Um, that's what husbands are for, they're here to help all the time. He's always on call, thanks sweetheart. He's had a long day at work so I am done for the day. Anyway, I'm in and it is time for dinner. I'm starving. Me and Michael usually like, um, what's it called, like balance out who does the cooking and whatnot, but. He's not here, he's gone to Tesco, so. Chopped up my veggies, they're gonna go into the base of my pasta sauce. Easily just put in a base of onions, red peppers, um, three cloves of garlic, what's these ones called? Spring onions, I put scotch bread in everything because I like spicy food. And voila, pasta is done. I know this looks burnt, it's not, it's the seasoning, the seasoning's brown. <laughs> so voila, that is a dinner done, it's a bit crusty, but it tastes good, so. Me and Michael ate dinner, watched um, Luther, the final episode of season three, and I just basically fell asleep on the couch, I'm so tired, like literally so tired, it's because I was up so, ow! I'm not gonna lie to you, everything hurts right now. Everything hurts, but yeah, not gonna complain. I'm going to get some sleep. Good morning. Um, today is the day before I go on holiday. Oh, yes, yes, <laughs> that was really the worst app in the world. Um, yeah, really excited. Got a few things to do. I'm going to walk to the office today because I'm trying to be good and be healthy. I mentioned, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I've got, I do have, what's it called? The hip and pelvic pain that you get in pregnancy. But the worst thing to do is just stay sedentary. So I'm just going to, you know, walk through it and just try and stay as fit as possible. Um, it just makes my life easier in the long term. I have got just some videos and some work to do. I'm gonna go and get false eyelashes, eyelash extensions done. Cause I hate, you know, wearing falsies when I'm away. So if I get the eyelashes done, it means that I kind of look done up um, while I am, while I'm away. And I don't need to bother with that. So my outfit of the day, I just found this in my closet. I was like, oh, this is nice. <laughs> my sister basically gives me a running commentary of the weather. Uh, she's like, it's so cold outside. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna find something. And I just found this. And if you can keep your head warm, you can usually keep your whole body warm. But I'm just basically wearing all black today. It's got me feeling a little bit like, um, what's it called? French Parisian. Parisian swag. So I am 
walking to the office and I actually really enjoy walking it's a nice way to like just relax get some fresh air as long as it's not raining uh, but it's genuinely a lot harder than it used to be <laughs> I've made it back to the office. I have to tell you what ended up happening. I basically was like, yes, I can do this. I was doing GI Jane, yeah? And then there's a really long road and halfway across the road, I was like, I don't think I'm gonna make this. <laughs> and then the reality is that, you know, you can't go back. You only have to go forward because it's a really long road. There's no buses on that road. It's just a, a long street of houses. And I was literally exhausted. I was limping and waddling. And then I was like, you know what? This walk isn't right. So I walked to the end of that road and then there was a bus stop. But that bus stop was a standing bus stop and it looked like a bus had just gone. So I was just like, okay, Patricia, just keep on walking. And there's a net bus next to us stop. That was a sitting one. And I was like, I can't do this. I sat at the bus stop defeated. And I text Maureen. I was like, Maureen, uh, is that a uh, night moth? Yeah, 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 that's mine. I was like, Maureen, I can't do the walk anymore. You walked here. <laughs> well, I tried to oh, walk here. Um, and I couldn't walk anymore. And then, um, and I just sat down and waited for the bus. And it was literally Blue Rinse Brigade on the bus. <laughs> if you know what that means, it means like, it was literally my, my codies, all the grandmas and granddads um, on the bus. <laughs> they are, I love, I love an old people. And then I got to the office and now we're planning the girls are planning my baby shower and I've decided that I, I don't want to just have, it's my birthday as well. Right, I've redone my makeup for the day and reshot this look. I prefer this version. Again, I'm still- get eyelash extensions? Yeah, I'm getting eyelashes extensions at three o'clock. So at four o'clock, four o'clock. Are you gonna rinse um, them off then? Do you want to have them now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I've done my makeup, but I'm going to get eyelash extensions and it does end up really messy. So I'm probably gonna try and clear it up a little bit before I go. I really prefer today's look to yesterday's look. I felt like yesterday's wasn't ideal. And I think this always happens with people who film videos. You end up reshooting sometimes. And that's just part of the process, you know. Um, so I'm going to just do my product shots, get a bit of work done, and then leave here in an hour and a half. which is where I am getting my brows done and I have had my brows done here once before so from memory I'm trying to remember where this place is it's just off the high street so I'm here to get my lashes done I'll show you the treatment room it's really small I'm vlogging you might build camera but um, it's super intimate and it's super nice and I know I can chill out I'll show you guys the details of what I get done Basically, some kind of eyelash extensions. What are they? Oh, what's a 3D brow? The sleep brows. So it's these eyebrow extensions and then there's like a sculpting treatment on top. Mm. It lasts about two minutes. So really? So this is Joe here. He's going to do my lashes for me. And what ones am I having? You're going to have C curls. Yeah. And we're going to put some B curls in the middle. That's going to be quite long. Yeah. And then most of them will be C curls between 8 and 12, maybe a little bit of 13. Okay, lovely. She's the pro. I don't actually know the details, <laughs> but they do look really nice afters, and I want them a little bit more glamorous than I had the last time. Perfect for the holiday. Hey guys, welcome to my 